So it's been a long time since I've had Edifier bookshelf speakers on the channel and it's this time now where we need to have a listen to what new or what Edifier's bringing new to the table. So we've got the i1000 TCN speakers and these are very, very small speakers, but we need to test them. So let's get on with it. Right, so what we're gonna do is uh, we've got these little speakers already unboxed already and they look so, so nice. So we're gonna talk about the build quality of these speakers. We're gonna talk about what, well, we're gonna hear the sound, see what kind of sound levels we get out of it. But let's go through the specs quickly. So these speakers have got 0.5 distortion. So that means that you're gonna hardly hear any distortion whatsoever. They also run at a frequency of 75 Hertz to 200 kilohertz. They work up to 85 decibels. These speakers are 11 watts RMS, which is the proper specification of these speakers. And well, we're gonna test them and we're gonna have a little listen. That's what we're gonna do. That's what you're here for, aren't you? When you get the actual product yourself, you'll get a little easy manual and it's all in different languages and stuff like that. And it's really straightforward, very quick. You also get a really long bit of speaker cable. And what I like about this speaker cable, if I can hold it still, the speaker cable is soldered at the ends, and that means that you don't have to do any twisting and no frayeding of the wire. So that means if you've got a bit of a frayed wire or lose a bit of wire strands, you're gonna lose a bit of connection or the sound won't be as good as what it would be here. So Edifier have obviously done that as well for you. That's really cool. It seals all the wires together and it keeps it in nice good contact. We also got this is weird from Edifier because I don't really normally see these. We have RCA cables and they're both red and white obviously. And how they're connected is that I can connect this to the speaker because the speaker works with RCAs or phono plugs if you want to call it. And you can connect these phono plugs or RCA cables to another outsource. So say that you want to use a CD player or a DVD, uh, yeah, DVD player or anything else like an amplifier that's got, not an amplifier, uh, something else that's got phono plugs that you want to connect so you can hear the speakers play through, you use these. And they also come apart as well and you've got a phono or RCA cables at one end and then you've got a 3.5mm uh, female jack at the end and then you've got other RCA cables there if you want to plug this into a phone or a CD player or anything that's got a 3.5mm 3 .5 jack like a computer or laptop you can use this end which is a male 3.5 inch and then you've got the RCA so it's as simple as that and this is quite a long lead as well so quite impressive now let's talk about the speaker. Speaker looks like a great good quality, quite heavy. I think I have got, what side of the speaker I've got? I'm not too sure what side it is, it doesn't really say. But it could be a right or left speaker, but one of them has got the, all the amplifier bits, which are on the back here. And then you've got a bass button here. Uh, not a bass button, but a bass that you can turn up for the bass speaker, which is quite cool. And then you've got a volume controller there, and it feels like really solid and quite rugged. I like the feel of it. The RC connectors connect to the back here, and then plug that in the right way. So I can plug this into my phone, laptop, or I can plug this into anything that's got a 3.5mm jack that can produce some sort of sound, and you want to get it coming through speakers. That's what that's there for. On the back as well, it's got a power button for on and off. So it's a simple turn on and off, as you can just hear, hear then. And then at the bo bottom here, you've got negative and positive for your cable wire to go in the back, which is your speaker cable wire, which is here. So I'm going to set this up really quickly and put the red wire into the back. And you see that there's no problems, no fraying of wires straight. So I can use these straight away. All right, so there's a the black and red wire, and then all I have to do is connect this black and red wire other end to the other speaker, and this end we're going to be testing it for using my phone. I have my phone here, which is a Galaxy Note 4, and I'm going to plug in a 3.5mm jack in the uh, top. You can use um, a, a PC, a laptop, a Mac, anything like that that's got a 3.5mm jack and that can produce music. 
So I'm just going to go to my YouTube channel quickly and play some music off of there. So now I'm going to turn the volume up on my phone. Sounds like I need something a little bit more decent. Well, we're trying out the B3 soundbar by Edifar, and you just need to stick around if you want to hear and see more. Now everything's going to be on full blast, and that was at full blast with the volume, but then I've just added the bass as well. I want to see how they handle the bass, because when bass starts to distort and stuff like that, that's where the whole sound system can sound really flappy, especially with the tweeter as well. And uh, we don't want too much reverb coming back on and vibration through the tweet too much. And obviously the speaker. So I'm just going to play it at full volume. Or well, actually I'm going to play it at low volume. And then gradually get up so it's louder. So no bass. And here we go. You get a female 3.5mm jack in, you get RCs or phono ports, red and white. Right, now what we're going to do, we are going to play another video so the sound is a little bit better off one of my videos. And then we're going to gradually get louder and then with the bass as well. So, low volume. <laughs> No bass. And that is the test of these little beauty speakers. Now, <clears throat> you heard a little bit of distortion, and the reason that you may heard a little bit of distortion, because these speakers are only 45 pound. Links have been in the description down below. You leave the bass halfway up on these speakers. They do sound really nice and quite clean. They are obviously a little bit enhanced, and for 45 pound, for these speakers, how solid and the looks, it look and complement any sort of living room or anywhere that's got a lovely bookshelf or even like in a kid's room or something like that. These speakers are really quite brilliant. They don't scratch your desk, they're solid wood and they're black and they just look cool and they've got silver like trim into the speaker. But as soon as you go past that halfway line on the back of this speaker, as soon as you go past uh, the bass line, that is it, it's gonna start to distort. But it doesn't distort too much, and they're only small speakers, 45 pound. And obviously the covers look really great as well with these speakers when they're covered up. But let's, do you know what, let's test it quickly with the covers on. And you leave your final thoughts in the comments down below. It's got a little bass reflex as well to suck out all that bass that it comes with. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it's at halfway at the moment. Low bass. Volume up. Bass is going up. Bass at halfway. Bass all the way. The nice spot. Let's hear what the vocals sound like quickly as well. It needs to be wiped over and cleaned. We've got shockproof legs or feet that we can call it. With rubber underneath so it doesn't scratch the desk. And it has a centimetre and a half of height. So it basically raises it off the ground, especially on... And that's the sort of sound quality you can get from a £45 pair of speakers. Now I'm going to need to find another £45 pair of speakers that I can compare these with. If it's to compare with another Bluetooth set of speakers, 
I think the Bluetooth speakers would do pretty well against these, but the Bluetooth speaker would be still quite expensive. I've tried and tested loads of different Bluetooth speakers from different companies, and they hardly have any distortion at all. Now these are the cheapest Edify speakers I've ever had on this channel, and they're not the worst or anything like that. If they were selling them at £200, then it would sound really awful for that price. But for £45, you can't really go wrong, especially with the looks and styling. That's my conclusion of what I think of the speakers. They sound really good. They're not studio or monitoring speakers or anything like that. They're just something that you can plug into really quickly and listen to and look nice and don't have to worry about having a big amplifier or anything like that. Everything is all included in the box. So, this is the end of the review. Hope you liked the review. If you did, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about these Edifier speakers and what other Edifier speakers you liked. Because I've done loads of other Edifier speakers. I know you're still commenting on that. But this is really like a breakthrough at £45 on Amazon, which links have been in the description down below where you can go and purchase them. And then test them for yourself and let me know what you think about them. Anyway, thumbs up if you like this video. If you dislike it, well, Okay, you dislike it, but leave a comment, explain, or tell me why you dislike it. I'll try and improve it more better for you. And I'll see you in the next one with more great videos and more competitions coming up soon. Thanks for watching.